What are we going to hunt today? If you said pennies, you are right. Well, as long as these are circulated. Let's crack into this and see if these are good for hunting. And it looks like we have maybe a partial box. Some of these look like 2022s. I think I got some rolls of 2022s here. And then I've got other other rolls I can hunt. Interesting. Getting 2022s in a box. I, I could imagine 2023s or 2024s, but 2022s is a couple of years old. Well, anyhow, I have a few rolls of 2022 in here. Those are all the ones that look like they're 2022s. The rest look like they're circulated. So let's see what we got in these circulator rolls. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. All right. So looking at these. I've cracked open one roll, probably crack open another roll just to verify, but these are 2022 Philadelphia um, cents here. So I had 17 total. Um, I'll probably open up one more just to make sure. I do have a uh, 15, I think 15 here. If anybody wants some 2022s, let me know. Um, It'll make you a very good deal on those and you, know, you can help support the channel and get some 2024 rolls if you're interested. All right, well, let me uh, just search through these two rolls real quick and then we'll get to the hunt. So now that we've got the new rolls out of the way of 2022s, we have 33 rolls total to search. And on roll number two, we've come across our first find here. We have a Canadian, 1976. That one is a little rough for wear. And, but it is our first find there. So, uh, first find is a Canadian. Hopefully it won't be the last. Roll number five, and it looks like we got a wheat scent here. It looks like you got a 1940 something right here. 1942, that is a nice little weedy there. Pretty cool, that is our first wheat find of these rolls. Roll number seven, we've come across our second wheat scent here. 1955 out of Denver. Nice. Awesome. Roll number nine, and I've come across another Canadian here. This one is a 1975. That's our second Canadian. So far, two Canadians, two wheat scents. What are we going to find next? We made it to roll number 12. So pouring out the roll, I see right here, we got a wheat scent. We got a wheat scent, and it, oh, wow, that is a 1920. Very nice. That is an old weedy. That is over 100 years old. It's 104 years old. Nice. That is an old wheat scent. Very, very cool finding a 1920. Awesome. Roll 13. We got another wheat scent here. Let's take a look and see what we got. This one is a 1957 out of Denver. And it's got some stuff wrong with the auber. It's got some, I don't know, it looks like it's been scratched up a little bit maybe. But still, that's another wheat set for the stack. Roll 17, we found another Canadian, 1970. That's our third Canadian. They were getting left behind by the wheats, and now we're at uh, three Canadians, four wheats. Let's see what we find next. Is it going to be Canadian, a wheat, or are we going to find nothing at all? Well, we didn't have to wait long for the next find. Got a 1950 here. That's another wheat scent to go up here. Nice, awesome find there. Roll number 21, kind of flumped out everywhere and going through, I got a wheat scent down here in the bottom. So let's take a quick look. This one is rough. 1957 out of Denver. This one is rough, got a bunch of gunk on it, but it is still a wheat scent. So that is a, another find for up here. I'm working my way through roll 26 here, and I've got a really nice red Canadian. Let's take a look. 1997. Very cool. That is our fourth Canadian. And nicest one to boot. Roll 28. Hit another wheat scent here. 
We got a 1955 out of Denver. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That is another 50 sweet scent there to go up here for the stack. That one is a 59. I just poured out roll 29 and I've got one back here. Is it on the camera? Right here. No, that's a 60. It's right here. That is old and worn. So let's take a look and see if it is old one. And it is 1954 out of Denver. Nice, that is another wheat scent. It just had that older worn look to it that the uh, circulated wheat scents have. And yeah, um, there was a 60 close to it and it has an older look, but I can see the date there. Roll number 30 and I've had another Canadian here. Just poured it out. Notice I had that Canadian sticking out there, 1978. Nice, that's our fifth Canadian. Um, still, a, you know, that's a good amount out of these uh, 33 rolls so far. I got three rolls left. Um, I usually only get like one or two, maybe three. Um, so that's a high amount out of these, uh, these uh, half, a little over half a box, of two thirds of a box. Um, still not quite keeping up the weeks, but making a good showing in this box. Very nice. All right, so wrapping up on this uh, uh, short box here. We only had 33 rolls, but we had some decent finds. Um, best find, in my opinion, it was a 1920. And getting an old coin like that in a box, especially in a, in a box that only had uh, 33 rolls to search, definitely fun. Fun to find there. We had one from 40s, and then we had six from the 50s here. We ended up with five Canadians. So not bad at all. So that's six, seven, eight wheat cents overall. That's pretty good for 33 rolls. Um, well, it's a little bit better than my average. So that's a good, good uh, number there. Um, so I do have some coins over here. Most of the stack is 90s. We well, can check these against the album, check these. I don't know, I don't think we have a 20 in the wheat scent, so that might be an addition there. But uh, we'll check these out and uh, get things going, get things loaded up, and um, we'll be right back and show you how the albums are coming. Starting out with the 1920. We do have a 1920 in there, but it is got some corrosion. It's pretty gunky. This one is just a cleaner coin, uh, no real uh, corrosion or, or major issues with it, so I'm going to switch that out. So we have a non-corroded coin in the album. And that is all for the wheat cents. Here in book number two, we're starting out with a 1982 zinc small date. This one is a much nicer shape than the one that's in there. Pretty decent coin upgrade there. And then we have a pretty clean 1994. It's a little bit better than the one that's in there. And that's a pretty solid upgrade there. Um, hopefully I'm not gonna stretch this whole lot by switching this out but we'll find out um, I've decided to switch that one that is all for book number two and here in book number three there were no fails or upgrades there we have it for the albums ended up with three upgrades there not bad not bad um, for a short hunt we had some pretty cool stuff to find in there and uh, always fun to hunt some pennies always looking for some awesome stuff all right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Helps me out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple of videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.